So, Martin, I've just made a really, well, rather excellent little video about whether or not humankind is 250,000 years old. And Which what's it the is, answer? It is! Uh, well, oh, okay. roughly. Right. Between 200 and 250, we, we can't, you can't be that sure. Oh, come on, as, we're, as a scientist, orders of magnitude are fine. As well, as, a, as the <laughs> error margin within the sort of times we're speaking about, yeah, we can be, yeah, it's pretty close, but it's more accurate than your typical ruler. Yeah, yeah, rulers yeah. are rubbish. Parallax error on rulers, terrible. Anyway, what's your 250,000 related question? Um, mine is, what is 250,000 times hotter than the sun? In particular, the core of the sun. What is? Uh, it's the quark gluon plasma, which you, you may have heard of. Um, if you were around in the first 10 millionths of seconds after the Big Bang, you, you would have known that. Yeah, really? yeah, because that's what everything was. It was so hot, four trillion degrees C, that even the, the sort of the quarks that make up protons and neutrons, they weren't in protons and neutrons. They were sort of free to flow, but they're not allowed to be sort of freely flowing on their own. So the gluons, the force particles, have to sort of stick around with them. So they, so they assembled into the nuclei of atoms as a result of the Getting temperature. Getting cold, yeah. Or the immense temperature disappearing. Yeah. But what if they'd formed into something else, like... Iced fingers or donuts or something. What? Um, well, you know there are four fundamental forces of nature. Um, there isn't the iced finger force, so that that wasn't really an option. Maybe okay, in, a, was... in, a, in a parallel universe where that is one of the fundamental forces due to changing like all the constants, and there could be an iced finger thing. Okay, well, iced yeah. finger was a bit fatuous, but what <laughs> no, I mean is, <laughs> in our quantum view of the world, it's yeah. based around the ideas of there are atoms as we perceive them, with the yeah, nucleus yeah, yeah. and the electrons and some free electrons and all that stuff. Could it have been something else? Um, Could the electrons have been in the middle and the protons? No, it's, yeah, well, it's all to do with how strong all the different forces are. So the strong force was the strongest out of all of them. So when things cooled down, that was the one that became dominant. So things stuck together to make protons. And then cooled down more, the electromagnetic force was in the next one. So then it made atoms and, and it's sort of mm. that. So if you were to change the constituents and all the constants, of the universe, then things could be very different. And that's the, some of the ideas, you know, why is the universe like it is? It is because that's what the constants are. There could be other universes where they're different that might not have been able to form life and that's why we're not in one of them. And where are they? Are oh. they parallel with this one or in a distant galaxy far, far away? Uh, well, they wouldn't be in a distant galaxy because that would be in our universe. They would be in some maybe oh, yeah. hyper-dimensional space. But then again, you're talking crazy theory stuff that we can't prove yet, so it's mad. So just, just, just don't worry about it. OK, well, just one last thing. You know, in the periodic table, there are still some gaps. Yes. Could we fill those in by making something 250,000 times hotter than the core of the sun and chucking some scrap metal in or something? So uh, I don't know. I don't think they've tried that. We we could try. It might ruin the LHC. You know, oh. the, the Large Hadron oh, the Collider. Large Hadron Collider, yeah. Yeah, because that's the, the where they make this, this sort of stuff. There, the RHIC in Brookhaven Lab, it's in particle accelerators. I don't think they'd take too kindly to just, like, throwing some iron in there. Checking might... old Metro in it or something. Yeah. yeah. I just wondered, because the, the bits, what's missing from I'm chemistry I'm very bad at. The bits that are missing from the periodic table are certain atomic weights, aren't they, that are missing yeah, or, in the sequence? Or, yes, so proton numbers, yeah, yeah, atomic numbers. Atomic numbers, rather. Yeah. Than atomic so, I think it's just that they're not there because they're really hard to make. Because you know, all, those, all those extra ones, you sort of make them and then they decay straight away because they're not really stable. Right. So you, maybe you could make them, but they're even harder to make and even more unstable then they just fall yeah, apart yeah. again. I don't know. But you know there are things that we know we don't know and things that we know we know and things that we don't know that we don't know yet and all that stuff. Yeah. Are there bits of the periodic table that we don't know we don't know or is it all stuff that we know we don't know but we know what it would be if we knew what it was? I don't know. Mm, that's... I knew you'd say that. <laughs>